following program is rated TV MALV. It contains strong language and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. You son of a bitch! I was getting some good sleep. Now I gotta wake up to the side of you. You better have them twenty dollars you owe me. Funny how you always seem to disappear when you in debt. No, no. What the hell you mean no? I've been waiting on my money for over a week. Tell me some damn good news, and your ass ain't brought me no good money. Give me one good reason not to whoop your ass right now. Calm down, Bernard. Gee whiz, guy! I just came up here to tell you some good news. I didn't mean to. You don't piss y'all off or anything. Too late for that, bastard. Uh, now, what the hell you came up here for? If you ain't talking no money, you ain't talking no sense, okay? Does it look like I'm in a position to be without the money that's owed to me? <sighs> look, I up, know Chuck. life hasn't been great for either of us, but I really hate seeing you sleep in this cardboard hell. My van is for sale. I think it'd be perfect for you. Oh, hell no. Uh, what the hell I'm gonna do with that piece of shit van of yours? That shit about as raggedy as you is, and just as wide. Tires flat, graffiti all up, and it smell like you. And you got the nerve to be selling that trash. For how much? Um, uh, 300. 300? I wouldn't even give you three cents for that bullshit. Are you out your damn mind, Chuck? Please. And you got the nerve to come up here wake me up my sleep for this foolishness. Well, damn it, Bernard, I'm not going to give it to you for free. Why the hell not? I've looked after you plenty of times while you've been out here on these streets. After everything that I did for you, all the favors, this is what you want to do? Bernard, you know I would, man. It's just... <sighs> my ex, Tracy. She's willing to take me back. If oh, I please. give her back the money I gambled away, I'm just short a couple hundred dollars. Oh, so what, you want to rob Peter to pay Paul? See, see there? Your ass ain't shit. You're selfish, and you don't care about nobody. It's all about Chuck all the time. I guess shit ain't gonna never change. Just think about it. You can have better living conditions, and I can go back to Tracy and have in-house pussy. If you don't get your filthy ass away from me, talking about some in-house pussy, she'd be a fool to lay up with your nasty ass. Think about it, man. Let me know. And go take a bath. All that itching and scratch. Ugh. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? Into my Sims family. This is your boy, Life Like Sims, coming to you with, yes, again, another video for your viewing pleasure. Today, I just want to start off by just saying thank you for all my new subscribers. I literally started off this month with around a little over 200 subscribers, and now I'm almost at 600. So, you know, you're talking about almost 400 subscribers in a month. That's pretty extreme to me, and I'd say thank you so much for everybody who's here, everybody who's tuning in and just watching my videos. Um, I thank you for all the likes, the comments, the shares, even the thumbs down. I appreciate those as well. Any engagement is, is good engagement to me. So, I thank you. I love you, bitch. Oh, my God. I ain't going to never stop loving you, <laughs> bitch. Um, but today, uh, we got to meet two new Sims. First, you got to see uh, Mr. Bernard here. A little background on Bernard. Um, he's actually... The brother of Bianca from my uh, uh, Bianca's Beauty Bar video, and yeah, they're siblings, so that's a little bit of a connection there. Um, 
I know you probably like, well, damn, that's a pretty big difference. You know, she's doing pretty well. She's successful. You know, her brother, you know, obviously is not doing too well. You can see his living arrangements right here. Um, yeah, Bernard has fallen on hard times. A little background on Bernard, other than being Bianca's older brother. Um, he was actually a singer, aspiring singer. Um, and he had dreams of, you know, becoming a star. And unfortunately, things didn't work out in the entertainment industry, and he kind of fell on hard times and has been out on the streets since then. Um, he has a difficult relationship with his sister Bianca due to some, you know, past things and money borrowing and never returning and things like that. So we'll get into their relationship a bit more down the line. But it's really only his two friends. is two raccoons. <laughs> yes, raccoons. Uh, one named Biscuit is a female and then the other which is a male named gravy so you got two raccoons named biscuit and gravy who is his companions right now um clearly you can tell that he doesn't really like carl too much so i wouldn't really consider them friends just a uh, poverty stricken acquaintances you can say <laughs> so um without further ado let's go ahead and get into like his living arrangements so right here we have you know pretty much the homeless shelter bed that I released a couple months back um, if you have not had a chance to get that please go ahead and look back at my other videos and you can take a look at the link in the description for that video I'll hopefully link it here as well and uh, yeah this works since function as this is just bed it's where the magic happens I guess you can say so yeah you can sleep relax and do everything a normal bed can do um, here he has a uh, pretty much I guess you consider his dresser so this looks like a pretty much a normal little cart but it functions as a dresser so yeah he can change his outfit and even when he has things in his inventory he can stash things in here as well so that's just a little something I I whipped up next little thing I whipped up was his refrigerator but it functions and looks like a cooler uh, cooler that functions as a refrigerator I should say so you know pretty much he can you know cook from here uh, he can actually cook from his uh, grill, which is um, an item. I didn't happen to make this. This is from another creator. And, you know, he can grill his food from here like normal. And he'll actually have a place to put it as a leftover here. So, you know, I feel like that was something a little realistic, something cool to have. And then he lastly, he has his sink. So this little bucket here functions as a sink. I am also not the creator of this sink as well. I'll have this link down in the description for you. But um, yeah, he can wash his hands, brush his teeth, get a glass of water from here. So yeah, you know, I tried to kind of whip it up, make it kind of functional but realistic looking. You know, that's my, my goal. Life like Sims. You got to be lifelike. So um, yeah, as you can see, yeah, we got a little uh, raccoon right here. This is actually, I believe, Biscuit, right? Yeah, I think this is Biscuit. Um, I have my headline effects turned off. But yeah, Biscuit's not feeling too well, so that's why they're laying down. You can see little stars going around her head. <laughs> oh, big old gravy right there. All right, gravy coming. Uh, oh, yeah, he heard that food. Now he ready to eat. Now what you done brought? Two seagull feathers, one spot at six on feather. Okay, thanks so much. Um, all right, <laughs> thank you, Gravy. It's not too much traffic that comes down this way, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and have him big outside McDonald's. So let's go ahead and travel there. All right, let's see if somebody give us some money. Uh, she gonna give us some? Okay, she gave us some money. Okay, five dollars. Here comes the money. Here we go. Okay, okay. Thank you. Oh, they walked right past him like they were nobody. <laughs> I just walked right past me. Dang. Y'all ain't got no money. Okay, you gonna give me some? Yes, thank you. Okay, $5. Okay, thank you. $15, thank you. Okay, five, five more. Okay. 
Man, you know what, Jess? Jess Mitter, man, she always been a bitch. I can't stand her anyways. All right, where can we beg at next? Y'all want to go beg at Burger King? <laughs> we can get as much more money as we did before, okay? There's some people in here. Oh, they mad in here. You know, and that makes sense because every time I go in Burger King, they always be taking a slow, sweet time getting my order. Everybody in the line be pissed off and angry, even the children. So, yes, this is very much real. <laughs> I need me some money. Somebody going to give me some money. If not, I'm going to be pickpocketing it up in her. Okay, okay, five dollars. Uh, not you yelling. Yeah, I can come in. I can come in here and beg if I want to. I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> Yo, <it's true. laughs> Bitch, you crazy. I'm a pickpocket her ass. She got me fucked up. Okay, thank you, thank you, ma'am. Five more dollars. Oh, y'all broke in here. Y'all ain't giving me no money. Okay, five more dollars. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Come on, don't just stand there looking at me. You gonna give me some money or what, Dustin? Oh, hell no. See, no, I wouldn't put my hands on them because they was women yelling at me. But not your fat ass. I'm going to get your ass to business. Mm -mm. I'm going to put you right in your fucking stomach. You got me messed up. Nah, go over there and handle that. Now, nah, get your ass back up, Dustin. I got something I want to say to you, sir. I got something I want to say to you. I got something I want to say to you. Yeah. Bastard. You took you fucking yelling at. But you know what, sir? I was thinking about something. Oh! Motherfucker, this nigga crazy. Do it. Come on. Hey, you going to fucking jail, man. You know what? Hey, get the fuck off my property. Fuck. Go. On. Now I got to leave the statue because everybody think I'm violent. Yeah, I hit your ass. What's up? Now I gotta leave, cause your ass got me out here messed up. Before I do that, I'm finna go ahead and pickpocket your ass too, cause you was talking shit. Oh, there it go right there. Yeah, go ahead and give me that money. Yeah, whatever, all that talking to yourself stuff. Look, go ahead and get that money. Oh, you got caught, buddy. How your ass done got caught? <laughs> you had to leave up out of there anyways. That's crazy. All right. We got to move on to the next spot, y'all. We got $105, though. We, we got to, you know, we making it. All right. We over here at this little establishment. Let's see if somebody going to come in. We can... Oh, there go some people over there. Come on. All right, let's go ahead and beg for some money in here. Okay, she gave us some money. Thank you, five dollars. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I don't like your ass, Heffel. Come on, give me some money, man. Please, please. All right, thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, I think she's going to come get me some money. Thank you. I, thank you. God bless you. Come on. Thank you, sister. I appreciate you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. All donations are greatly appreciated. Thank you. I ain't too proud to be. Come on. Come on, sir. Give me some money. Why are you in there twisting? Mm. This one has a little sweetness to it. All right, I don't think they're gonna give me no more money. I should go inside and beg too. Shit, I ain't too proud. I'm gonna go right in here. Hey, Thorn in here. Let's pick pack a Thorn. I know he got some money. Eighteen dollars. Oh, I got caught. Damn. All right, I got eighteen dollars out of it, but they caught me though, and I got a atrocious reputation. <laughs> That's all right. We had one hundred and sixty-eight dollars. Let's keep going. Where are we going now? All right, we outside the movie theater. You know, we gonna see if somebody got some money up in here. Oh, they just charged me ten dollars to come here. Damn, I forgot all about that lot fee. <laughs> so we didn't lost ten dollars, y'all. All right, well, let's go here. Oh, let's see nobody here. Anybody inside? Nothing. Ain't nobody here. Okay, we got one person. Okay, okay, they coming, they coming. Let's go here and start begging. <laughs> okay, thank you, sir. Come on, please. Yes, I appreciate you. Come on, lady. Oh, come on, sis. Come on, give me some money. Thank you, thank you. Oh, would you like what you see, girl? You like my voice? It's how you want. This ain't no way till you see it in the phone. Let me, uh, let me do a friendly introduction to you. I guess you want to get punched again. To see this bastard want to get knocked in his mouth again. Okay, I got something for you. Don't you leave. Don't you leave. Don't leave. Oh, you asshole. What you yelling at the lady for? Ah, oh, damn. I thought she was finna flirt with you. You yelling at the lady. Hey, let's see if you can get some more money out of her. Hell. <laughs> well, screw you then. Anybody worry about you, girl? All right. Yikes, no way. <laughs> All right, we finna go in here. And let's see if we can beg. Because we not too far off from our goal. So I'm trying to get to this bag. We going to, um, not $10 again. Man, I, <laughs> I need to recoup some of this money, man. They, they charging me and they tax me in this building. All right, let's go ahead and pickpocket. It's a big risk because we're not supposed to be in the area after we get caught. But I'm trying to get some of that. Man, what you want? You gonna give me some money or what? Okay, he gave me eight dollars. I appreciate you. Let's beg for some money from him. From everybody. Thirteen dollars. Okay, okay. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah! I'm gonna 
Last Crash 2. See, closed mouths don't get fed. All you gotta do is just ask these people and they're gonna give you this money. Thank you. Ugh, I knew you was gonna say no. You ain't worth a damn. All right. Let's go ahead and beg for some money from you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. $18. I appreciate you. It does help. Thank you, sir. $12. Yes. Pay for some money from her, too. Oh, thank you. Y'all so nice. Oh, got another person to beg from. Hey, thanks for coming in. You got some money? Don't you dare get on that game. I'm asking you a question. Asshole. Screw you. All right. I think I got one more place I can try to get some money from. Let's go ahead and go try that. Actually, who over here sitting down? Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't ask you. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and go. But they charge me ten more dollars. All right, we in outside of Burger or Shake Shack. Excuse me. Let's see if we, these young gentlemen got any money for me. Hey, kind sirs, nice to meet you. Do you have any money for me? Hey, asshole. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. What about you? Who got some money? Matter of fact, I'm going to just stand right here and beg. Oh, I guess he had to change your heart. Thanks. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All right, YouTube. I think I'm going to go ahead and just end it right here. We pretty much got into our goal. Maybe a, a couple dollars short. But I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a pleasure making it for you. I have so many more videos to make. And, of course, I'll make another episode of this as well. Kind of give you that storyline effect. But, um, yeah, I want to say thank you to everybody who's stopped by and watched. If you have not done so yet, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. And, yeah, this is your boy, Life Like Sims. And I'm finally ready to end it. But uh, I want you guys to uh, stay safe and be blessed. And until next time, bye.